In this video, we will talk about recursion in Java. So what is recursion in the first place? When a function or a procedure is defined in terms of itself, so the function is going to be defined and apply within its own definition, like opening a set of nested gift boxes. Let's see an example that's going to clarify the picture. Imagine that we have a line of people and we want to know how many people are standing in the line but we are too lazy to go around and count these people so an easy way to do this or a lazy way to do this is to ask the first person in the line how many people are behind you and that person is going to ask the next person and then the next person and then the next person until we reach the last person who will turn around and say there is nobody behind me so the person that's before the last person is going to know that there is only one person behind him or her so he'll say okay there is one person behind me plus me then we are two and he's gonna pass it to the next person in the line until we reach the first person who will add up the number and add him or herself and then we will know how many people are in the line so let's see how can we apply this concept in Java first of all let's just do a little review in the method calls we have seen methods that are calling other methods so for example I have those two methods one of them is going to calculate the circles area and the other one is going to just give me the square of a number uh, the circle area is the radius square tam times pi and I'm calling the square method from this circle area so I'm calling a method within another method now the question is can a method call itself the answer is yes and this is what we call a recursive method so it's going to be defined and the call of the method is going to be within the methods definition and that's why we, we call it defined and called within itself so recursive in general is going to solve the problem by reducing it to a smaller versions of the problem itself so a recursive method which is any method that's going to call itself is going to consist of two parts one of them is called the base case and the other one is called the recursive case or the recursive call for the base case we'll have an if condition with the base case and that's going to tell me to do something usually we will not do any calculation in here if we are not at the base case then we will do what we call the recursive call again the base case is going to be solved directly and will return a value we will not do any computation here and we will not call the same method again so it's just going to include a return statement we usually we have one or two base cases most and most of the cases will have only one base case and this is very important to prevent infinite calls because if we cannot reach the base case then the recursive co the, the recursive case is going to keep calling the same method and, and we will go into an infinite calls which is similar to being in an infinite loop the general strategy for the recursive call is divide and conquer so we will divide the problem into smaller problems and then solve each one of those individually there are a set of questions that you need to ask yourself before uh, designing a recursive solution first of all we need to ask ourselves how can I reduce the problem to smaller versions of itself how does a method call make the problem smaller what should the case, the base case be and how will I ensure reaching that base case and avoid the infinite recursion problem let's look at an example with a simple method and let's see how we can apply those questions into this problem so what I want to do is a method that's going to print n number of stars based on a number that I get from the method call. I will not be allowed to use any loops and I will take the number as my argument. Now let's look at the structure in here. We have the if statement which is signaling our base case 
and then we have the else statement which is going to be let's call it the hard case or the case that needs some kind of computation although this is a simple method that will not need any computation but this is just to give you a general idea of how recursion works now what is the base case in this method so think of a number that I will get and I will not have to loop and do it again so this is one of the questions what should my base case be and I will not need any computation in that base case imagine if n is 1 so I will just have one print statement and that's it I will not have to go to the else statement so I can say I can safely say if n is equal to 1 then this is my base case and I will just print one star now this is going to handle the case if n is equal to 1 what about if n is greater than 1 I need to divide the problem into smaller problems and then I need to make sure that I will reach my base case so I can safely say else if n is not equal to 1 I will print the star and then call the method with n minus 1 let's try to apply it and see so if n is 3 I will come to the method call it with n is equal to 3 and then is n equal to 1 no so I'm in the else part so I'll print one star and call the method with with n minus 1 which is 2 I'll go back and check is n equal to 1 the answer is no I'll print another star and call it with n minus 1 which is 1 last one is n equal to 1 yes so I'll print the star and terminate the method so I printed three stars using recursive call let's look at another example if I say write a method that takes a base and an exponent and calculates the power an iterative solution which is something that we are used to is to define a method in this case is going to be an integer as a return type and then it's going to take the base and exponent it, and then I will have a result which is going to be the base uh, times by itself until the exponents run runs out so for example if my base is 2 my exponent is 3 I will multiply it by itself um, take one from the exponent multiply it by itself again take one from the exponent multiply it by itself again and then return the result now can we tailor this as a recursive method let's ask our questions again in this case what is my base case so what should be in the if statement and what what's the code that should be executed in that case and what is the hard case or the case that will need some computation and what should I do in that situation so let's assume that the exponents are not going to be negatives I'm just assuming the exponents are all positive larger than zero so I can safely say if the exponent is equal to 1 I will not need to do any calculation because I will just return the base so if I say power of 2 to power 1 then I will not need to do any calculation I just need to return the 1 so I can safely say if the exponent is equal to 1 just return the base I will not do anything else I don't need to do any calculation now if the exponent is not equal to 1 which is larger than 1 this is the computation case or the recursive case let's call it so what should I do in here suppose that the exponent is 2 if the exponent is 2 I need to multiply the base by itself and then return it back so I can safely say return the base multiplied by whatever is remaining because remember um, 2 to power 2 to power 2 is 2 times 2 2 to power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 so I need to do it multiple times so I can safely say okay if it is larger than 1 then return the base multiplied by whatever I will get from calling the method with the next exponent and eventually I will reach returning the base and then it's going to be the base multiplied by the base and then I will return that as well